Here in the i button and the description box below, you will get complete playlist of Fourier transform. Now I welcome you to video number four, and in this video we are going to start a new topic that is Fourier sine transforms. Okay, we are going to study Fourier sine transforms. So before I start this video, I would request you to subscribe to my channel, and if you learn something from my videos, then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, Fourier uh, transform with your friends. Okay, in this way only you can support me. So let us start with the new topic that is. Fourier sine transform. The function, okay, this f s of s, okay, f s of s. It means this is Fourier sine transform, okay. Yes, the subscript s stands for yes Fourier sine transform. Defined by yes f s of s is equals to integration zero to infinity f of x sine s x dx. Okay, yes, we have a function f of x, and we need to find Fourier sine transform. That is f s of s. That is equals to integration zero to infinity f of x sine s x dx. This is called okay. This is called the Fourier sine transform of function f of x, and the limit is from zero to infinity. Okay, here you can see the limit is from zero to infinity. Fine. Now after finding the Fourier sine transform, we can also find that is inverse of Fourier transform. Fourier sine transform. Okay. Yes. Also the function f of x. Okay, which is defined by f of x equals to two upon pi integration zero to infinity f s of s into sine s x ds. Let's suppose you have this part that is Fourier sine transform, and you need to find the value for function f of x. In that case, we will use this formula. That is f of x equals to two upon pi integration zero to infinity f s of s sine s x ds. Okay, is called the Fourier inverse Fourier sine transform for the function. Yes, that is. f s of s fine now in this topic that is in fourier sine transform we are going to solve these two important problems okay believe me both the problems are very 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 important okay so the first problem is find the fourier sine transform for the function that is e to the power minus of mod x okay again you can see we have taken the question from mod okay find the fourier sine transform of e to the power minus of mod x after Finding the Fourier sine transform for the function this, we need to prove that is integration zero to infinity x into sine m x upon one plus x square d x equals to pi into e to the power minus m upon two, where value of m is greater than zero. Okay, and the second problem that we need to solve in this topic that is Fourier sine transform that is question number two find the Fourier sine transform of e to the power minus a x upon x. Okay, first problem, second problem, both are equally important. Okay, so let us solve one by one. 